Hello, this is Gene. Today I want to talk about uh, things I've been talking or thinking about for a while. Uh, in every movement, there has to be kind of a uh, an upgrade or um, reformulation of it, like a reform of it. Uh, we've had it in Christianity. Uh, pretty much every other ideology in the world has had some sort of ref uh, reformation, except Islam, of course. <laughs> but I think there needs to be a discussion. Uh, clearly, uh, you're going to get it from somebody who has no footprint in the alt-right whatsoever. Uh, sometimes people in the alt-right that have a bigger footprint actually like my tweets. Some of them read uh, what I post, and some eat, uh, like or share my videos. Um, I've said for a long time that I don't really fall under the current definition of the alt-right. I've said it many times that I don't think the idea of an ethno-state is... A, is something that can happen in the United States. Certainly not in my lifetime. Um, I'm an old Generation X um, person um, or a young boomer, but it's not possible. Uh, people keep saying that, uh, looking at the dates and all that. I, it's a possibility, but it, it's not. Um, I, my, the way that the boomers are, divide, I'm, or de, are uh, defined, I'm not one. I'm, I'm a late generation person, X person. So I don't have the the um, the wear you know the wearing down of the Vietnam War. I uh, grew up in the age of computers um, and how it transitions transitions and what it is to now uh, with everything basically at our hands to do whatever we want. Um, I'm a product of the generation where most of us have no ability to have any attention. I was, if I would have been diagnosed when I was born, I probably would have been diagnosed of that, and I'd probably be on somewhere on the autism spectrum. And that's another video altogether on how they do that and how it really uh, impacts women, or excuse me, boys so much, and it uh, hurts them later in life. And then you have the other issues that are causing the issues that they have, um, the cultural Marxism, white guilt, just basic guilt that you have because you're being born during this time. But getting to what I want to talk about is the alt-right. And who believe, who who defines what the alt-right? Uh, people have talked about it, tenets of the alt-right, and you can get behind most of them. You know, obviously limit immigration. Some would say stop it altogether. Uh, clearly no, uh, no more immigration from third world. Uh, I would do a little differently. Uh, obviously, uh, if there's a merit... Uh, base. Uh, I don't have any problems to have somebody from India or something like that to come to this country, but it should be limited. And I would think that we need to uh, import people uh, from Europe that are uh, ancestors of those who were here first. Now, we can have the debate uh, who really formed this country. We all know who actually made this country, who wrote the laws. That was white people. So it, we get into this problem where there are a lot of people on TV that a lot of guys want to say that, oh, he's one of our guys. Um, there was somebody came out the other day, I think it was Markle, and uh, I'll put his video below, saying it is uh, Car uh, C Carlson Tucker from Fox. I can't name his first name. Carlton. Uh, Tuckle Tucker Carlson. Sorry, guys. I mean, I went for a walk and my brain is not 100% back. So, <clears throat> but anyway, and they say he's like one of our guys. And he's not, though. It depends what you think what the alt-right is. Because he went on his, you know, he talks what he talks about. him. But just the other day, Tucker was talking about he doesn't care about that his families came from Switzerland. It's like it doesn't mean anything to him. And to me, if you're going to have a tenant for the alt-right or anything that is far-right or that, that talks about uh, a, mostly a super-majority white nation, uh, you should be uh, familiar of your, your past. You should defend that. You should be proud of it um, and should tell it to your kids below you or, and have them spread it like we did before, before the Internet, before everything else. We had um, talks we had with our family, and part of their jobs was to take the history of the family and, and just take it to the next level. You know, the father to the son, the son to his son, all the way down. The girls, too, as well. Um, let's be equal when it comes to that. They should be able to tell the stories of the family as well. 
Uh, there probably was a time that they did that. They are better orders than we are in a lot of ways. So when somebody like uh, T Tucker Carlson says that he doesn't really care what his great-great-grandfather was or where he came from, he, he, he can never be somebody that would be our guy. Um, other people that are on the, on, the, on the right that you might think that somewhat understand, they understand the, pl the plight, the demographic plight that white people have, but they can't come out and actually talk about it. Guys like Paul jo Joseph Watson, he did a video yesterday talking about what's happening to boys and, and uh, it's based this P Me Too that's exploded out of everything. And I said this the same thing I said before he came out and I said this was going to happen, that it was going to hurt the normal person and how boys are being affected by it. And then he actually talks about Marxism, but he won't say where that comes from. And he always defends the, the Israel and, and the Jewish people here. Um, so he can't, he can't really be that type of person either. Um, I've had people tell me through DM that Paul can't really say what he wants to say. But I find that hard to believe because he, he continually puts videos out there almost in a back way talking about what the influence is from the Israel and the Jewish people, organizations. But he never goes far enough to it. So now we have uh, somebody that wants to run for Congress, and he he brings it out, uh, P Pat Nealon, and he says stuff that a lot of people on the alt right won't say <laughs> say out loud. And is he all right? Is he an alt right guy, or is he all uh, is he a white nationalist? I don't, I don't know. Um, the question is where where do we want to go from here? I don't think that Richard Spencer is the guy. You know, this is just my opinion. Uh, he was important for where he was, but there has to be this idea that there is something more. They, our kids have been taught so much there's nothing, that basically everybody's the same, that there's no differences between the races or cultures, and I think that we need to bring them back from that abyss because what it's done is that they've gone down this nihilistic pathway. They don't have anything to latch onto, and when half the par most of the parents are not at home when they get from school, they just get on the internet and there's so much nihilistic shit on the internet. And you could take that if for a guy, it's the porn shit. There's so much of that. It's unbelievable what's available for free. And you realize that most people that run these stuff are the same people. So I'm not saying we should go out and kill all Jewish people, okay? That's not what I'm saying here. And I like some some Jewish people that, that understands the, pri the plight of our demographics. I just want to call them out when they sit there, it's okay for their country, their homelands that they want to take out all these African people out of their, of their own homelands, but when we say the same thing, they basically say that we're racist. Those are the times that need to be called out. Pat Nealon actually said that to Ben Shapiro, not necessarily on that um, level, but he talked about Jesus and stuff like that, and then they got a nice little um, tiff online, and of course Pat lost his, uh, his um, Twitter feed for a while. I wonder why that happened. So... So what are we going to talk about here? Like I said, I have no footprint. Nobody ever will see this other than maybe four or five people who watch this. But the, pre the, the message has to be clearer because still people are going to look at anybody that talks like this that they're all racist. And I'm not saying I'm cucking out here and that I'm talking about civic nationalism. I think that this country should be super majority white. Uh, we're at 63% right now and it's falling, fa falling down or falling down. Uh, by the time I die, if I live to normal age, somebody who grew up at my time, uh, it'll probably be right around 50 um, when I die. And my sons will have to deal with being a minority in this country. And we can just say, oh, everybody's going to be all, we're all together, we're all Americans and all that stuff. But that's just not how it is. You see what's happening now with DACA. You see that these people are storming Sh Schumer's house or, or um, Ru Rubio's house, and they're not speaking English. They're singing um, Spanish. They're not... They're not assimilating into our, our society. They want their culture, as they should, to maybe take over where they are in the United States. That's what they want to happen because that's human, human nature. So when people come from the third world that comes into the United States or comes into Europe, they try to do it their own culture, and we think it's all nice and ha happy, especially when it was like 10% or less. We're like, oh, that's nice. We can go there. We can have some of their food. We can just part, party in their own freaking um, culture and their dances and stuff, but when it becomes a majority, that's not what's going to happen. They're going to take over, and I can sit there and say this, and maybe you'll see this in 20 years, and somebody, if you two's around, they'll see them and say, why, you know, he was right, because now we can't even go outside, it, it, you know, we have to have a, a fail over our face, because they don't want anybody to know that you're white, 
Um, there's something that's going on here. And the question is, do we want to term that as alt-right? Um, or are we going to do something? I mean, I like guys on, on the videos. I like millennial woes. I like Richard to, the, to, to a point. Some of the guys out there that, that, that talk about the alt-right issues. But they're all talking. They're, they have this thing idea that we're going to have an ethos state. And I just don't see that happening. We, as still as the majority in this country, we need to uh, celebrate that and also celebrate the family and show our history and be um, proudful of it. And just because somebody on TV says you're a white nationalist or say that you're, that, uh, you're racist for thinking that way, you just got to let it go away. Um, it's all out there. Anybody that actually looks at it could know this is what's happening. Everything that we have in media now is trying to vilify white men, especially. But by extension, it's also their, parent, um, their sons and their daughters as well. And what happens a lot of times is females kind of like falls along, along this as well. They can be uh, manipulated a lot more uh, when it comes to stuff like this. Not so, I mean, men can be mani manipulated as well. But women, I mean, the cults are always basically dominated by females from a, a single male uh, leader. And you see this now on the, on the left, that it's just, they're so cultist uh, how they are. And women believe that it's okay to abort their baby at 20 weeks. Even though the sciences are clear here, you can see the, the uh, sonogram, you can see that it's a living thing. They, they, and they, they name it, they say it's not really anything, it's like a parasite in my fat, fat body. So they want to defend their own body, but they don't care of the body that's inside of them. Because they don't want to call it a baby. Now they don't want to call it a fetus, they want to call it a parasite. So this is just one of those little areas that our society has changed so much that there is, there's a huge amount of, of people that think it's okay to do this. And there are some that don't really care. You do it right after somebody's uh, born. So <clears throat> we have to celebrate the culture and who started the culture and celebrate women and celebrate celebrate men and, and the value that they have because men have lost all their value in the society. That's why they kill themselves so much more than men, women. Women don't really care. I mean, yeah, some have, they're depre depressed, but they know that somebody, some other guy will come up and if they're somewhat decent looking, will serve for them because that's how guys are. And so almost the society has catered them so much that they think that this is, this is deserved. This is, this is how the society should be. But at the same time, they complain about it over and over again. I mean, just watching those women marching about rights that they already have, <laughs> and it's not, in a lot of ways, they have so much more than their uh, male uh, counterparts. I, I know I've been rambling here, but when we're talking about the alt-right and where we're going to go from that, we're still a very, 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 very fringe movement. There are people that, woke, that are woken up to the problems of the, the, the demographics and some small minority are getting involved in this type of thing. Some people stay on the alt-right, right? some people become in the alt-right. But there's so much infighting that goes on in the alt-right. There is no real, I'm not going to say leader, I don't want a leader per se, but the idea, just by basically saying, I want to, I want to celebrate the country, I want to celebrate uh, my heritage, the culture that I come from, and who, who formed that culture, that I think that this country was best when we had a super minority majority in this country and we should clearly limit immigration that there, if there's going to be any immigration at all it should be merit based and we should celebrate uh, the family uh, celebrate having kids uh, do whatever you can to stop abortion in both the black community and the white community and just go on from that. And I think that that's a better sell thing than just saying, uh, we're going to live over here by ourselves. Um, although we try to do that anyway. I mean, white people generally group together and black people do the same thing. But this, this is something that will never happen. It, it won't unless there's a war. And the problem that Richard Spencer and all these people that talk about the ethno state, and I understand this, that Richard doesn't really think that it's feasible to a point he said this is more of a fantasy type thing. But the question always comes up, how are you going to move all these people here? They're here legally. <clears throat> I, I, we don't have to. We need to get rid of the people here that aren't here legally. 
and then we need to we, we need to promote family and have uh, white people get together and have more babies and and then we we need to uh, stop immigration from the third world and after years and years of this, if we go over 30 or 40 or 50 years, all of a sudden we'll be back to 80 percent, 80, 85 percent again. We just will. Um, is it went from 90 to 63 in 50 years? So why can't we do it the other way? And the, the reason why I, we can't because uh, Hispanics um, populate themselves a lot more than we do, and blacks would as well, but they kill half as many as they have. I mean they have babies and they kill the same amount of babies. So they're sitting at like 13% of the population. They've been that way forever because they have millions and millions of babies, but they abort them as well. So I don't know. I don't know what the thing is. It's more of a rambling thing. Just let me know what you think. Uh, there's something here. Um, there is an opportunity. I'm not sure that the guy that, that, should, be re that should be leading this is Richard Spencer. Um, I still listen to what he has to say. Uh, and obviously he's done more than I've done for and I'm just, I'm just one guy on the internet but there's a way to talk about it uh, at this point in my life I don't have the oratory skills to do it anymore but there's more to this and I think there's a lot of guys that are they're on the fence about not necessarily being full alt-right but uh, talking about the problems of uh, the white race let's say uh, because the left has gone so much that people like saying go ahead and call me racist I'm still going to talk about it so I think there's millions of people. Um, when I decided to vote for Trump, I knew there were millions of Democrats like myself that were going to vote, it, vote that way. I knew that I wasn't alone, and I know that's the same thing when it comes to uh, the, the, the issues of, white, of the white uh, race in the United States and globally. And I think if we wake them up and talk about history and talk about the greatness of being from this um, culture, um, our past, uh, whether it's my my whiteness or whatever, my Europeanness or whatever, the greatness of our culture, if we can just um, promote that and give especially young men that that drive to be something great to understand where they came from, I think that there's millions and millions of people that will support uh, getting back to where we were before. I'm not somebody who's going to say that it was better back in the 60s or 70s. Some ways it wasn't. I mean, a lot of people were getting killed. A lot more murder was going on in the United States. Even as bad as just Chicago is, even as bad as St. Louis is, there were a lot more people getting killed. Uh, but the family was better. It was better clearly in the black community and in the white community. And we kind of lost that. And we could talk about technology and all that that's done that as well. But technology can also maybe get us back to where we need to be. This is nothing about white supremacy. And I think that people need to understand that. I can't have a conversation in my own house about that. Because they think that what I'm saying is racist. And I'm like, really? I mean, you've known me for how many years? 20 years? <laughs> you think I'm racist? Uh, there's nothing I say is racist. It says that I, wanted to, I want to protect uh, my culture. And I understand who, who created it. it. That's history, baby. It wasn't, the blacks didn't come here and, and create Western civilization. They might have helped us build shit, but they didn't do anything. All right, The Hispanics didn't do it either. It was white people from Europe that did it and their descendants, and all the greatness that we have in the West and the bad parts are, are us. Uh, we, would take, we should take uh, uh, the fault for them, but we also should take the gain for it because we've done so much, but now we've lost it all, and we all lost it out. We're going to lose it all because of guilt. Guilt for what? I'm not guilty of anything. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my, my ancestries, and I'm going to teach my kids that it should be good that you be proud of where you came from. You didn't have any slaves <laughs> when you were growing up. You grew up in an area that was multicultural and you did well in school and you did things and you're doing well now. Uh, don't be guilty, guilty for it. Uh, there's just nothing, nothing to be guilty for. Now, saying all that, I have one person in my family who's a feminist and she probably was at the march the other day. Uh, but she's also trying to get a bonus from where she's working at is getting a bonus. And do you think that she will say anything nice about Trump? Probably not. I don't think she's going to take it away. I don't think she's going to give it to anybody out to like charity. I'm sure she's going to use it for herself. That's basically how they are. You have to understand that. Uh, so anyway, let me know down below. Again, any comments you have, what you think should be better. Because we, we, we want this to be something from the ground up. 
Um, Richard Spencer is his own thing. I mean, he's his own little brand now. Uh, we need to get past that. This needs to be at the gr- ground level. And again, this is not a white supremacy. We think that all cultures have value. We just have to say the same, this thing, that our culture is the best. And I'm sorry, we are the ones who created it. But thank you for watching. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.